Hello, Internet. It's David Quigley here from VG Newswire, joined by VGNewswire.net co-founder Peter Lopez. How are you doing? Hey, good, good. Thanks for having me. Oh, and there's uh, big news around is that the PlayStation and the Xbox both are working on updated models that huh. will, and especially in the case of what they're calling the PS4K, supposedly a real thing, <laughs> to promote... 4k movies and 4k gaming how do you feel about that uh man that's really gonna suck when you're uploading to youtube could you imagine i mean 1080p at 1080p at 60 frames per second video takes forever at least on my end to like render and, and get up on youtube so could you imagine what you know trying to render 4k video onto the internet like yeah. That's just insane. Share factory is slow enough as it is. Like, mm-hmm. how are we going to be doing this? It seems ridiculous to me. Uh, I know, not sure what games you've been playing recently, but are they 1080p 60 frames per second? <laughs> I'm a Nintendo. Uh, well, well no, I was going to say I'm a Nintendo fan, so none of the games are 4K at all, or hardly any like 1080p because I'm playing 3DS. But as far as um, PlayStation 4 goes, I'm really just playing um, Final Fantasy 14. I know that's. I think there's works in uh, the VR spectrum for Final Fantasy 14, but um, as far as 4K, I, I haven't really delved into any 4K gaming. Yeah, the whole idea to me seems kind of silly clearly the developers right now are struggling to get 1080p 30 frames per second right especially yeah. struggling to get 1080p 60 frames per second and that goes for both systems seems to be a little bit tougher on the xbox but playstation isn't that far ahead of them so i don't see how they're going to do an incremental upgrade you assume that means the idea is you'd have a price cut maybe on the original systems and the new systems will come out at basically what the original price was. I don't see how they do that and all of a sudden we have 4K gaming when they can barely run it at the max frames right now. Right. I just don't want multiple consoles out. Like we were talking earlier today and you had mentioned like, oh, well, what? they're like iPads and iPhones now. Like I couldn't see myself getting an Xbox 1.5, you know, and just like this PlayStation 4.5. Like I just want one console to last me for eight years and then I can move on to the next one, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, and and Microsoft and PlayStation are certainly in no position to, sh- they're not struggling right now where they need a new console. Unlike Nintendo, where the Wii U, I believe, has roughly 10 million units uh, sold, which is, I think that's hardly hardly anything when you, when you put them against, um, you know, PlayStation 4. Sure. Know? And, like, this is, to me, it's like another hardware skew. They're both, right. Everybody's pushing VR now, and now you're also going to be pushing an updated console. What would it take for you to jump on board with a PS4K? What kind of impressive trade-in system would it take? I mean, honestly, it, I, I couldn't even tell you. I mean, I'm barely wrapping my head around PlayStation 4 like as it is. Assume um, that you trade in your system and you get the new system back. How mm-hmm. much extra would you be willing to part with to get 4K gaming? None. It, for me, yeah, for me personally, uh, I mean, as you long as... You have a 4K it, TV. I do not know, and I'm not about to drop $2,000. There's <laughs> another problem TV. that people aren't thinking about <laughs> is 4K gaming is great if you have a 4K TV, which most right. people don't. Right, exactly. I mean, could you imagine how much money you'd be spending then? I mean, I would imagine the four PlayStation 4.5 would be, what are we thinking here, like $400? But then you're going to have to spend two to $3,000 to get a TV that's... It's like if you want to get have the perfect 4k experience you need to invest in a two to three thousand dollar television plus you need to invest in another playstation 4 that's a bigger and, investment than vr yeah exactly yeah so I, I don't i don't see how this would do anybody good you know if it was obviously a new console let's say hypothetically it was the playstation 5 that had 4k you know capabilities then of, of course it'd be great but not if it's just a you know an innovation on you know the PlayStation 4 by itself with just 4K video. Yeah, so know. as you can see, we have some serious questions and doubts about the viability of a PS4K. But listeners, what do you think? You can follow us on Twitter at VG underscore Newswire. Leave us a comment on the website, VGNewswire.net. Can follow me at david quigley on twitter and pete how about you uh yeah you guys can follow me at pete underscore lopez with a zero in the lopez part all right and thanks for listening we'll see you next time